This video focuses on the role of international law in global politics. In particular, it relates to area of study three, ethical issues and debates. In the case of our units of study, international law relates to the laws affecting refugees and people movement and the laws affecting nuclear proliferation. International law has played a large role in many of the areas we've studied this year, as it allows global governance to take effect and for laws and norms to be established. Further, certain links will be discussed later and we can see how global governance and international law together join states by providing laws that might relate to all states. International law is the rules or laws which govern states and these seek to set up rules for which are the same for all involved parties. It exists in order for states to increase protection and security for the entire international community. As a result, international law enhances peace and seeks to avoid conflict and international tension by providing guidance for states as to how they should act and which particular guidelines they are required to follow. This can influence states' behaviour as by upholding and living by international law, states must change their actions. As a result, we've seen that not all states sign up to international law. And this is one of the greatest challenges of global governance, as for a state to sign up to international law is likely to undermine um, their sovereign power and the options available to the state, should they choose to act. International law has had a mixed reception by the international community as some states support it and support particular laws in large numbers and as a result these particular laws are well supported and others less so. On the other hand there's also there are also limits and weaknesses to international law. For example many global actors disregard normative principles. They choose to ignore international laws and, as, and take their own action. This, of course, diminishes the effectiveness of those laws. This is considered a major limitation of international law as it relies on states to enforce them. So without their support, there are few laws that can be used and be effective. Another weakness to international law is that it requires states to sacrifice some sovereignty. As we've learned, international law causes states to agree to set laws which might be different from how that state would otherwise act. The symbol you see on the right is an emblem of the International Criminal Court, which is an institution of global governance, and it seeks to uphold particular international laws specifically relating to the Rome Statute. This court um, tries individuals for committing uh, war crimes against humanity for example. Another example of international laws are those resolutions passed by the UN Security Council. These are generally considered to be binding and states are required to adhere to these resolutions within the international community. 